Wait a minute and I'll be with you. You want to look at my farm, do you? All right, I'll just show it to you. Now, I haven't got everything just fixed exactly the way it ought to be. You know, it's that way with we particular people. We hardly ever get things just to suit us. Now, I'm not bragging, but it's just natural for me to have everything spick and span. I can't help it. I was born that way. You know, it's terrible the way some people do. Everything about their places all mussed up and ripped and tore and fallen apart. Nothing handy. Why, if I had things like that, I couldn't sleep till I'd get them fixed. What the? Well, I'm a... That fence never did that before. Well, you want to see my farm, come on. You can tell the kind of a farmer by his barnyard. Keep mine polished up like a park. Gee, money, cloudburst. Was that mud in my yard? I reckon it rained during the drought. I just swore there wasn't a hole in my yard. When I got married, I put in a walk and water system. What, that woman making a trip with only one bucket? A well gushing with water and carrying it in one bucket. And a little one at that. I'll be telling her, have plenty of water. It's healthy. And everything handy. Funny, it's door sticking a little. Well, it's used mostly only by the women. And that knob's only to open and shut the door. Left my pocketbook in on the piano. We'll go in the front way. Who's been fooling of these doors? Or maybe hot weather warped the hinges. Outdoor entrance for carrying in the winter feet. A good tight door keeps out frost. Likewise prevents evaporation. Handy doors is my middle name. Gee, wow. Beware of garage doors that come bang and shut at the wrong time. Made mine out of third growth plywood. When they're closed, they're shut. And when they're open, they're open. Huh. Uh, the wind must have changed. Now just hold on and I'll show you that when they're open, they're open. And they're burglar proof to the ground. Huh. Well, uh, don't understand. Must be a storm coming up dog blasted. Well, anyway, you get the rough idea that I have the doors handy. That south wind, it's nasty. Ain't that fella gone yet? What's the matter, Rodney? Can't you pull out of my yard? I thought that hole had filled up. All right, step on her. Neighbors tearing up the yard. At a girl. I told her. Come on, don't be a softy. The old well's a gusher. 80 feet deep, wet clear to the bottom, never fails. Plenty of water and lots of it. Conflagration, the hen residence is aflame. Water, moisture, hook and ladder, spontaneous combustion, asbestos, new ritus. Habeas corpus. Come on, old Niagara. We'll save her. You bet we'll save her. Up and at them. Courage, me lads. Back again to old faithful. Help, assistance. And Nero fiddled while Rome burned. Is it insured? I hope to tell you. What do you think? If we'd have found that fire 30 minutes sooner, we'd have put her out like nobody's business. Nothing like having plenty of water. Good equipment makes a good farmer better. Hydraulic jack. A pleasure to work when you have good machinery. And do I take care of my equipment?
fix them before they get out of whack, is my religion. Keep the tires tight. Paint on the running gear. Hinges on the tailgate. Cushion on the seat. A whip socket in the northeast corner and grease on the spindle. As Shakespeare said, verily lubrication is cheaper in machinery. Huh, I reckon it got out of adjustment. A handy vehicle, inexpensive transportation, utility. Throw on repairs and we'll glide out to rebuild the line fence and they wanted to sell me a motor truck. All aboard, all aboard. Merrily we roll along, roll along, roll along. Merrily we, our neighbors gouging up the yard. Wait for the wagon, we'll all take a ride. Here we come, boiling across the landscape. Horsepower, homegrown fuel, equine efficiency. Whoa, Cyclone, this is no chariot race. Now keep your belt on and we'll unhitch and put that wagon together. In other words, we'll reassemble it and we'll tack a few stray wires on the old corner post. Good fences is essential to the well-being of the community. Keeps the neighbor's stock in and yours out. Come on, let's go. Fire department harness a set they didn't use in the Chicago fire. And the Pereri is a little on edge. The old gray mare, whoop, older, older newt, older newt, older newt. Well, all the country can't be level. If it was, where'd we use brakes? Being a good mechanic as well as a good farmer, I have a regular shop. May need tricking up a bit, and it may be a little dirty but it's always clean dirt in a shop. An invention I thought up myself. Combination fence and gate. No hinges, no latch. Steady, push down on the bob wire. Steady, ah, uh, that's nothing. Just got a little off balance. Now we'll clear the premises and we'll rebuild that invention solid as dynamite. Tool house. Never saw them weeds before. They growed overnight. Rich soil. That size belonged to my grandfather time. As good as new. Tool house. A place for everything. Everything in place. Now we'll reconstruct the invention. Got to have all these conveniences in working order. These modern comforts and inventions add to the beauty and the joy of living. I'm talking about the fence. Now we'll demonstrate a bag tying knot that I learned in Captain Kidd's grist mill. This is going to be good. Valuable information. Knowledge is power. Got a string? No, I ain't. I'll find one. No, I'll find one. I'll find one over in the annex. Lots of string around. Whoop! How do you like that step? When you start, you keep going. Top floor. I'll look in that box with the hog rings and the radish seed. Get out. Not looking for a fiddle string. I knew I'd find one. Too short anyway. The steps are a trifle high and the ceilings are a fraction low. But it's all in a day's work. There was a string. Oh, that one gathers no moss. There was a string around that package of mare medicine. Somebody got it. Where the dickens did I see a string? Ah, here we are. Now watch. Skill, dexterity, art, science, ingenuity. A twist of the wrist, the hands quicker than the eye. There you are. Holes are like a chattel mortgage. Wouldn't that scald you? The first time in 40 years. Now come look at my crop. This corn will make a hundred bushels and five pecks to the acre. Perfect stand and no wheat. The old dinner bell. Got to go. Come back tomorrow or next day. Go on.
Hold on. <laughs> 